Good evening, Michael. What do you make of that day? 161, a 67, two ducks and 300 on the first day. Yeah, uh, and a beach as a wicket. I mean, uh, the, the groundsman <laughs> has, has worked his magic. Um, you know, I think what India needed this week was, was, was a pitch that if they did lose the toss uh, and were in the, the field on day one, they had to have some action for the spinners straight away. Uh, and it's produced. I, I, I think it's been riveting. I, I really have enjoyed the day's play. I mean, when you've got a player like Rohit Sharma playing the way that he did makes it look so simple. And it certainly isn't on that kind of surface. Um, he swept the ball brilliantly. Uh, he just seems to have that knack of when he needs a boundary, it's almost, I'll hit a boundary now and I'll just relieve a little bit of the pressure. Uh, Rihani played nicely. I thought England tried everything. Um, you know, but I think the pitch is going to be the talking point over the course of the next uh, two or three days. I, I do think today's wicket played like a day four, day five pitch already. Uh, I can't see how it, uh, how it flattens out. So 300 on the board already for India. Uh, they're well ahead of the game because of the brilliance of Rohit Sharma. I mean, I, I saw one ball kick up dust on in, in the eighth over. Now, well, uh, you could still argue that a team at 300 on it. If a team at 300 on day one, it couldn't be such a bad pitch. But did Rohit Sharma's batsmanship overcome the kind of surface it was? I mean, to make 160 and be out while there's still time left in the day would make it a very, very special innings. What 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 stood out for you from uh, from that innings by Rohit Sharma? Well, he's it, it, a class player. Um... You know, he's got all his game covered. Um, the quick bowlers. I thought Ollie Stone was excellent for England back into the mm. side for his second test match. Ball with great venom and pace. Uh, but Rohit Sharma can play the quicks. He's got that, that pull shot. The balance of driving down the ground, that effortless kind of just dip back into the ball for those drives. And we know that he plays spin terrifically well. I mean, he got a peach in that uh, first test match from Jack Leach in the second innings. And I think he just wanted to have a bit of payback today. The pitch did plenty, but I, you know, I think it'll do more on days two and days three. So it's not going to get any easier. Um, and he just had great composure and balance. And he must be a brilliant player to bat with. And you could see that Ajinki Rihani was just starting to get into the flow of things. And when you've got a player like Rohit Sharma at the other end, uh, it, it helps you as a player because the scoreboard's always ticking. There's never really any pressure on you to, to take any risks. And what I love about Rohit Sharma is he scores so quickly and he doesn't look like he's taking any risk whatsoever. You know, every time he plays a stroke, even if he danced down, he danced down to Moen Alley and just whacked it straight down the ground for six. From a ball that pitched a yard and a half outside off stump, we'd seen balls. We saw the ball that got Virat Kohli spin a huge amount, but Rohit Sharma just yeah. sees it, dances down and goes, thank you very much, I'll put you into the stands. And um, He's a brilliant player. You know, I, I think it's taken him a while to be a master in... Uh, test match cricket. Uh, he had that period out of the team. I was like, well, how does he not get into the Indian test match mm. team? Uh, and now he's in there. He's, he's, he's a match winner. And I do think over the course of the next few days, Harsh, it will keep going back to the innings that he's played on day one. That's going to be the difference between the two sides. The, the one thing that interested me the most was the sweep shot. Now, normally Indian batsmen don't sweep, the, don't sweep very much because we're all taught from the time we first pick up a bat that you've got to get to the pitch of the ball. The moment you get to the pitch of the ball, you're negating the turn anyway. So get to the pitch of the ball. And that is why Indian batsmen don't sweep too much. And that's why I was very interested to see that Rohit Sharma brought out the sweep shot. Rahane tends to sweep, so he played the sweep shot. And Rahane said in the post-match uh, uh, little discussion afterwards that they brought out the sweep shot to try and get the bowlers to bowl to the length that they wanted them to bowl to. So to me, that, that was the one big factor today that India played the sweep shot. Yeah, I mean, uh, and, it, and if, if it's played well, like Rohit Sharma played it today, it's uh, it's a nightmare as a captain because you have to have those square of the wicket fields. You have to have you know mm. deep square leg on the boundary. You have to have your your mid wicket on the boundary. Uh, you generally have a forty five for the top edge in case the batsman plays it wrong. So there's three fielders out of the equation, and when you've got the game like Rohit Sharma that can go down the ground as well, and you can hit it through extra cover, you can hit it through mid wicket. By sweeping, you've taken three or four fielders out of the equation with a short leg as well. Um, so it creates more gaps in front of the wicket. And that's why, you know, look at someone like Joe Root who sweeps all the time. He's also got the reverse sweep. By reverse sweeping the ball as well, you've almost got six fielders out of the equation by sweeping th three or four on the leg side, a couple on the offside. And that opens so many more gaps in front of you.
But the key is playing it well. You know, I've seen so many players try to sweep because they've seen other players sweep, but they've not played it well enough, not beat the right ball, not beat the right length, not had the right technique. Uh, Rowett had the right everything today. Mm -hmm.